my cat's playing. Someone stole my lunch. <clears throat> so start. <laughs> uh, it's really dry. Well, <sighs> there goes your lunch. Uh, the door opens with a jingle as I walk in. Oh, the word lunch. Hmm. This must be management suing again. Who's employed the mother with her? They said it's to improve morale when we're too busy to head outside. Hmm. But what type of cafe only has one coffee machine? Some. They didn't even provide us with any coffee filters. Hmm. I'm tempted to tip over the nearby trash can, but decide against it. Hmm. The janitors are on the same sinking boat as us. Oh, trying to be a rebel, but you'll be causing more trouble for all. My only saving grace is lunchtime. Oh. And today is special. Why is that? Any other day I would have gone out into the big city and treated myself at a local bistro. Oh. However, a new project sprung up and I've been forced to stay inside during lunch. Cool. My weary co-workers also have to live this type of life, suffering from malnourishment, mm -hmm. malnutrition, yeah. and gastritis. 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 I know malnutrition, but not the other one. But why should I suffer along them? Uh, what awaits me behind these fridge doors? Someone else's lunch. Is my masterpiece. My katsudan. Uh. The night before, I flattened the plumpest pork loins. Mm. The night before, yeah, breaded it in the crispiest panko. Panko? Panko. And deep fried in the finest oils and spices from my pantry. Oh. Double fried to perfection, then smothered in beaten eggs, mm. sweet onions, and homemade tonkatsu sauce. Yeah. All on top of steaming bowl of fluffy rice. What would be cold? Uh, saliva dribbles down as I imagine my fork piercing through the skin to reveal its soft meat inside. White meat. It's unfortunate I couldn't eat it fresh out the stove, but at least the microwave here is more competent than the company's infrastructure. Sorry. Well, now we're at the fridge. With a happy hum, I walk over to open the fridge. Hmm. The shelves are emptier around <clears throat> than this time, so I easily spot my bowl. Hmm. Despite the bowl's innocent pink coloring, it's from a prestige lunchbox brand. Hmm. My food deserves the best, of course. I pick up my cute bowl, but I notice something off. Hmm. Sauce stains the s sides of the bowl's lips. Yeah. Lip. Did I spill it on the way to work? Yes. Now that I think about it, it's much lighter than it was this morning. Oh. With trepidation, trepidation I unclip the lid. Oh. It's gone. Oh. My thick cut of fried pork. My egg slurry of dashi and soft onions. Dashi. My fluffy steamed rice. Hmm. Oh, gone. Only a light brown puddle and some rice grains remain. Hmm. Is this the work of a thief? Yeah. Wait, no, I shouldn't be doubting my co-workers. It should. Maybe someone took my lunch by mistake. Oh. But this morning I saw clear Tupperware containers. Hmm. How could anyone mistake my lunch for theirs? Should've taped it. Did someone steal my lunch? My stomach gurgles painfully. It tells me that my decision to skip breakfast was a foolish one. Yes, always. Mm -hmm. Oh, I called the phone. And my phone alarm goes off. Hmm. My 15-minute break is about to end. Hmm. Did you spend like 15 minutes just walking up to the fridge? Yeah, and talking. What should I do about the thief? Uh, give up, quit your job, report to HR. Which one do you want? I got the report. Or, uh, giving up sounds pretty good, but... HR. The most rational decision is to report to human resources. Yes, bug that. I take out my phone and speed dial HR. It's important to have your most important contacts ready when you need them. Yes. To have no friends, HR is the only one who answers. Hello, this. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you can get going then. No, you can read. 
You can keep going then. Because I'm like, it's gonna be. I know. Uh, Hello, this is Kel of Human Resources. How may I help you? <clears> Hi, <throat> hey, Kel. I'd like to report a theft. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> Super dry. Oh, uh, was it solid? My lunch. <clears throat> Or was it during company hours on company property? It was in company fridge. Yes and yes. But you didn't let me drink water. <sighs> Unfortunately, we could not compensate your loss. I don't want compensation, Kel. Employee lunch is their personal property. Yes, but isn't it, wor isn't it worrying to have a theft happen on company grounds? We have cases like this often. The company is not responsible for them. Yes, I know, but... Uh, if you have anything else to report, please send an email. My lunch break is starting. Cal hangs up before I can say anything. Anymore. Uh, does it happen often? Then do something about it. But That sounds weird. Does it happen often to something that... Hey, I don't know. Yeah. No likes, Cal. Alright. With nothing else I can do, I begrud begrudgingly pour myself a lukewarm cup of coffee and return to work. Mm. The next day, HR does nothing. Despite yesterday's incident, I still brought my lunch. Yeah. I can't fault her in the face of despair. After all, I made mapo tofu. Mm -mm. How did I make it again? Wax, rat poison, or peppercorns. <laughs> How do I make it again? The, the, yeah, I'm thinking like, the, oh, if it's still there and somebody else ate it, then what happened? Did you use wax, rat poison, or like normal food, I think? Uh, yeah. Unless that's like really spicy. With the help of many YouTube videos, I made a rack, uh, wax replica of mapo tofu. Hmm. The white tofu cubes are made from wet styrofoam. Oh. The red sauce is from acrylic and watercolor. Oh. I mixed roasted ground peppercorns into the translucent red wax and poured it into my bowl. Oh. It helps hide the smell. With a glaze of resin and some patience, the fake wax mapo tofu was completed. I snicker, imagining the perpetrator attempting to scoop into the mold only for the plastic spoon to rebound back into their face. Hmm. In exchange, I'll starve. Oh. I was still waiting for my model to dry this morning, so I had no time to make myself something to eat. Oh. Five hours later. Lunch quickly arrives and I return to retrieve my bowl from the fridge. I couldn't keep my excitement down. Hmm. Despite knowing that it's fake food, seeing an untouched dish satisfies me. Hmm. I flick open the lid and... Hmm. A scoop. No two scoops. We're gone from the bowl like sliced jelly. The thief is beyond my comprehension. Hmm. But something sparks inside me. It's a giant ray. <laughs> I return to my desk to write my resignation letter. Good. Afterwards, I run to the nearest tech store and purchase some necessities. Not food. Hmm. Wax food, you wouldn't believe it. Oh, uh, do you have to <laughs> scroll? I quit my job and became a wax food artist. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> yep, that's me. I became a wax food artist. YouTuber. Cool. What can I say? After witnessing that travesty, I knew I had talent in the wax arts. Hmm. If someone can mistake my creation for real food, then why live a corpo life? Hmm. Number three, raw talent. Very bad. Ah. Uh, well, well, we can save. Now we have to skip through. Uh, let me see. Skip. Alright, now. Uh, what do we save here? Yeah. Right the. Alright, All right, so I'll just start with quitting our job. Mm -hmm. See what happens. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of everything in this damn company. Something snaps inside of me as I run over to the coffee machine. Kick it. 
I rip it off the wall and toss it to the ground. Hmm. The trash can is next. With a firm kick, it flips over and empty coffee cups fly out. Hmm. Finally, the stupid little jingle bell. What oh, jingle? I oh. yank it off the door's hinge and aim it squarely at the employee of the month frame on the wall. What oh, jingle? My breathing is haggard and my back is covered in sweat. Yeah. Sed- sedentary office workers can only do so much. Hmm. I stomped on my cubicle and has t- Tilly? Hastily. Okay. I saw that with a little space in the middle. Mm-hmm. Hastily write up my two weeks notice to human resources. Hmm. Because the spaces are like... Yeah, it's just the font. Though, who can even say I'll be here tomorrow? Hmm. Once I'm out of the front door, I'm never coming back. Cool. Now we're jobless. Boiling point. Performance reviewed by Kale. Okay, so... Nope. Okay. Give up. So we go back to work. I can only give up. Whoever it is, how would I even find them? Filling a paper cup with still cold coffee, I go back to my cubicle and defeat. Could have warmed it up. No, that would take it a while. The next day. But then why would it be... Well, this time I don't think we spent 15 minutes, like, doing stuff. I don't know. My lunch got stolen again. No, it took... It still took the 15. I'm suffering from hunger pangs. Hmm. Pains? Yeah, pangs. But perhaps whoever stole it needed it more than I did. Did they? They're probably more happy to eat than I am sad to be hungry. Hmm. With my sacrifice, the total number of satisfied workers in the company increased. Huh. Why? I thought only one person was stealing it. And I don't think one person being happier while you're being sad is going to make everybody happier. It gave them the leadership skills to move forward with the team. So, let it be. No. Enlighten, I continue to make decadent meals and leave them out in the open. Hmm. Every single one of them was eaten. Huh. And I went home hungry. Management rewarded us with coffee filters that week. Oh. Maybe... I did make a difference in this company. Hmm. Egg. Acceptance. Why the egg part? <laughs> Still very bad. Okay, so... Oh, no. The only way is report to HR again, and then I think just skip. Mm-hmm. Now, rat poison or that? Going extreme or... Uh, uh, probably yeah, here say now. that. Sure, rat poison. Ah, yes. How could I forget? I was trying to trap a rat. I take out my bowl and sprinkle a bit of gray powder on the surface. Oh. Snapping the lid back on, I tuck my pink bowl in the back of the fridge. Hmm. Soon that thieving rat will get his just desserts. Why are they quiet? There he goes. I exit the break room with a cold smile. Hey. It'll be all according to plan. Hmm. Right after I finished my work for the day, a guard apprehended me at my cubicle. Oh. The other camera's in there. There's a hidden security camera. Yep. I went to jail. (laughs) A week has passed since I started my new life in my cell. Because of the damning video evidence of my actions, I was judged with first-degree murder. Sitting on my low-quality spring bed, my face sinks into my palms. It's about to be lunchtime. Hmm. The guard bangs on the bars and lets me out. I scurry out with my famished stomach, reaching out for my meager serving of dry hard bread and bland watery soup. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm too late. My cellmate slaps my hand and takes my share from my plate. Hmm. Who's your cellmate? All Hmm. I see is a toilet and possibly you. Hmm. My lunch has been stolen again. Hmm. So, I get the rat poison from my pocket. (laughs) I'm going to come rat man. (laughs) I return to my cell and sit in hunger. Poisoned rat pet. Poisoned rat pet pet. Something. And mate, there's some good news. You didn't kill him, yes? The victim he poisoned survived. I was right. What victim? The food thief? 
don't say any more, inmate. You're walking on eggshells. Of course, of course. I hold my head towards the somber moonlight, contemplating a life not behind bars. Hmm. I've learned my lesson. Don't try to poison your coworker. Cool. A receipt for disaster. Is everything very bad for us? Uh, the last one. Yes, the spice of my life. Yay. How could I forget the nose-numbing smell of roasted Sichuan pepper? Mm -hmm. The thick red oil of the bean paste. The firm, bouncy texture of the cute tofu. Mm -hmm. With an internal heat so good it transcends the taste buds. Ugh. Mapo tofu. Eating plain rice is great, but it can't beat the spicy fragrance of chili oil and peppercorns. Mm -hmm. But this one is different. I've spiked up the heat, adding twice the amount of ground peppercorn and chili. Mm -hmm. A spice too powerful for the mortal tongue. Not as lethal. Right before I kiss my baby goodbye, I sprinkle on some more pepper. Mm -hmm. Is if anyone dares open my bowl, a red powdery explosion awaits them. Five hours later. Five hours? Yeah, you go to work. Lunchtime arrives and I rush to the break room. Perhaps today will be different. <laughs> I take out my bowl. The lightness of the silicon beef bowls is foreboding. Oh. Uh. It's empty! But how? Why? Where? When? Videotape. Yeah. Who is the food crazed glutton? Just ask security. What if someone ate my super spicy Sichuan Mapo tofu? Then their lips should be bright red right now. Hmm. With the remaining minutes of my break, I looked far and wide for the mysterious red lipped caper. Ah. But to no avail, my pepper kissed burglar was nowhere to be found. There are too many employees in this company wearing lipstick. I gave up on finding those hot lips and went home. Cool. Luckily, the stench of peppers clung to my suit, and people avoided me on the subway during rush hour. Hmm. The next day. We made it to the third day of work. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. On my way home, I caught a supermarket sale. Hmm. That's why I, uh, that's why I was compelled to make fish head curry for lunch. Hmm. A big steamed fish head simmered in thick, milky curry sauce, sliced tomatoes, okra, and eggplants flowed around. Stop making me hungry. Succulent, bouncy fish cheek and big sticky eye mm. yeah, drenched in tangy curry sauce. Mm. A vibrant, comfy dish to ease the stress of this weary week. Mm. But will it survive until my break? That thief is still out on the loose, ready to pounce. I need to protect my food. A meal. <laughs> this is my last stand, my last course of action. What should I do? Save. Oh. Okay, mass email, lunch at cubicle, or fridge note. Start at the top. Sure. I need to uh, I need to confront my problems head on. In a civil manner. If HR won't help me, who can? I'm my own best ally. Mm. My plans? I need to direct my complaints where they can be heard, loud and clear. The internet. Let's write an email. It'll be a compelling and persuasive essay about the wrongs I faced this week. Using the hamburger method they taught me in high school. Huh. Hamburger. Uh, hope uh. to someone. Greetings, Hope. This your <laughs> threat. <laughs> nah, I hope. I wish. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Closing. If hope this email finds you useful, lunch thief. Then you have to press. You're a waste of human being. I hope a tourist is walking in front of you while you're running late. Huh. If I find out this is you, I'm going to log into your computer and delete all your work. Yeah. Well, that went well. I hit send and await a response. If the perp felt any guilt, they would reply. 
right? My phone buzzes on my desk. It's my manager. Oh. Yeah, you read. Hello, Joe. Is something the matter? You're fired. Why? Was it necessary to CC everyone? Well, of course. Why shouldn't I? Was emailing your our entire board of directors necessary? It caused our stocks to drop by 5%. I don't know how that was that powerful. How are you going to compensate for that? Uh, I thought the company doesn't compensate for losses. Hmm. So, did you guys hear from the food thief yet? She has a call. I noticed that I've been blocked and my work email has been deleted. Hmm. You think you can fire me without severance pay, Jill Lotto? Jill Lotto? <laughs> Jill Lotto. I ripped the PC tower from my de work desk and ran out the building. <laughs> if the company won't compensate me, then this shall be my compensation. Mm. An eye for an eye. Fair. Fair. Mm. Oh. Okay, so lunch at Cubicle? Yeah. I should keep my lunch with me. Hmm. The closer, the better. Uh, sitting comfortably on my swivel chair, I type away on my Excel sheets. My pink bowl keeps me company, so my nerves are relaxed. You could've got a cooler or something. Nearby, some co-workers are gabbing away. Gabbing. So how's your term and report coming along? Never mind that. Did you see who's employee of the month again? Who? The new hire, that French dude. French? From abroad? Who knows, but he's been snagging employee of the month ever since he started last year. I've been trying for this month, but I lost. Man, I give up. You can't be him. He went on vacation to play a new elf ring last week, remember? Huh. Oh, you're right. They finally finished talking and leave the area. Cool. I can finally eat in peace. Stop gaming! <laughs> Shift to my keyboard away and replacing it with my bowl. Flip open the lid. I flip open the lid, yep. Yeah. The explosion of spice enters my nostrils. What's that smell? Someone's eating the cubies again. Cubbies. Cubies? Oh, it'll be like that sometimes. We sympathize with each other silently. Hmm. That's the first time I've been able to eat a meal during lunch. The tangy aroma wakes me up and stirs my stomach. Cool. Oh. Uh, it. I take up something, but take up my spoon and something that went by itself. I, I dig in. That's not my stomach growling anymore. I turn my head and spot an unfamiliar figure passing by. Finally, the hot guy. <laughs> he ruggedly, a ruggedly handsome man. Wait, what? Oh, he's a ruggedly handsome man. From waiting. <laughs> he looks down at my bowl, grimacing. You stink. I take, I take that back. He's insufferable. Ugh. Wait, it doesn't smell too bad, but. Uh... It's distracting everyone else. Why didn't you put it in the fridge? Before I can even swear back, he walks away. Stinky. Stinky. Rather than my curry, it smells like he hadn't left the company in a week. My nose scrunches up, remembering his sour stench. Hmm. He smells left such an impression that I couldn't even enjoy my long-awaited meal peacefully. Yeah. That man, that man is, he seems familiar. I can't put my finger on who he reminds me of. Mm. Speaking of which, I should spray some air freshener later. What do you got? Stinky. Fire. Out of fire to the choice. Okay, just a fridge note? Yeah. I shouldn't blow this out of proportion. I'm working. A, I'm a working adult after all. Oh. From my pocket, I take out my expensive fountain pen that I splurge my bonus on. Hmm. My happenstance, the company likes to supply us with copy paper in the break room. Yeah. They think that if we see it, we'll be compelled to continue working during our break. Ah. No, no, my coworkers are that gullible, but the amount of paper does decrease throughout the week. Mm. I take advantage of the company's quirks and take a clean paper from the pile. <laughs> Back hurts no. now. Let's leave a note. Uh. Uh, to my dear thief of mine... Uh, uh, 
do hey, do threat please closing I will B <laughs> you can start with B or I will oh yeah you want that do not touch please have mercy on me I will starve <laughs> after the note is done I secure it with magnets and now we wait I hope my lunch doesn't get stolen 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 it was tasty oh I take the paper and tear it to shreds with my teeth my saliva wets the dry paper and it grazes my tongue wow tasty the next day oh we made it to another day it's been four days I'm in the break room holding today's lunch oh this time it yeah this time it will be different I will succeed these steps will stop there's thieves you will survive my lunch good you will be in my stomach today good I swear it on my health insurance hmm I kiss a temporary farewell as I walk out the room. The final choices, maybe. A lone figure walks into the break room. Instead of grabbing coffee, he reaches out towards the fridge. It's an unusual time to have lunch as many employees are currently preoccupied. He reaches past the stacks of clear Tupperware, slinging out a bowl. A pink silicone bowl. Mm. He stands by the counter, obscuring his actions with his hand, with his back. The bowl lid comes off with a click. Mm. Mm. This is new. What's new? The figure's shoulders jolt up, but then relaxes as he turns around. Nothing. Saw there was new uh, new coffee filters. Mmm. Bit management repurposed the copy paper right mm. who are you me I'm really not that important rather why don't we start with you buddy Bo Bo I smile at him as he turns away ignoring me Bo 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 Bo, bo. <laughs> we just stand there for a few minutes don't you have work how's that coffee why would I drink this place's coffee? Don't tell me that you drink it. That slimy brown water. Uh, it's not that bad. It sucks. You sound like you hate yourself. Three days I've starved because of you. Three days. Actually, uh, what did you do these past few days? What else would I be doing? It's a work week. You come to the break room often? At the exact time every day? Of course. I have to eat. Eat? Well, yeah. Don't you? Uh, uh, yes. I would if I could. Speaking of which, I'm gonna eat. Mind leaving. Well, me too. I'm skipping precious work time to have my lunch early. Uh, why don't we eat together? That'll be an awful idea. Uh, that hurts. We're all co-workers, aren't we? I like being alone. Cells provide me with enough problems. Well, I'm hungry. You'll just have to suffer. Wait outside. I'll be done quick. Uh, is this your private bathroom? Certainly would be nice. Are you hiding something, selling trade secrets to a rival company? I wish. Doing something illegal? Yeah, you should ask the company that. They've broken several labor laws already. Maybe. Uh, you're the frisky type. Mm. I point behind him. Stealing, perhaps? Ugh. I made my move. With a sidestep, I tried to maneuver around the mat. But he swiftly walks my view left and right. Hmm. Why are you stopping me feeling guilty? Uh, guilt for what? My, uh, my right to eat meal. He, uh, his stature and speed outmatched me. I couldn't keep up. My poor office worker's heart can only pump so much oxygen. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> but must be nice being tall. Hmm. You must be eating good. Real good. Of course. 
Only dine on the finest. Fess up, you thieving rat. Me, a rat. You stole my lunch. I just met you. Well, I caught you red-handed. Hands up and away from the counter. Mm. Pulls out a gun. <laughs> 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 You're talking to your ass. You don't have a proof it's me. Several thousand employees come by here every day. This company doesn't care about you or me. Leave. Hmm. Well, well, Mr. Employee of the Month, do you think our conversation wasn't recorded? What? Wow, I wonder what terrors I can unleash with these sound bites. Uh, how did you know? Do you take me for a fool? The company plasters your face on the walls. It's right over there. All you did was tie up your hair. Uh, did you make this meal? I did. Why do you keep stealing my lunch? <laughs> Why? Your food was the best out of everyone else's I stole. And so I've invited Mr. Employee of the Month to dinner. Ah. On that day, I offered him half of my katsu uh, sandwich for a price. He was still blinking. Don't touch my food. Why should I listen? I'll cook for you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm listening. But why is it black and white? <laughs> but you'll need to pay for my groceries. Foo, foo, foo. Still in the past or something? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Uh. Fine. We will continue discussing our contract over dinner at his treat. Hmm. He chose a fancy French bistro nearby. Uh. I chose the time, 5 p.m. tomorrow night. Ooh. Was this a date? Yeah. No, it was a lifetime contract. Oh. Date night. Oh. Under a warm candlelight, Bo sits across from me. Oh my. His long, silky hair let loose. An open French window frames his figure like a painting. Hmm. If only he would shut up. <laughs> Kill is a dick. Glad we agree. He wouldn't free up my schedule, so I had to scavenge for food during my eight-minute breaks. The past hour, I've been listening to him vent about management. His voice is husky. Hints of a deep, big city mixed in with some of that wilderness vibrato. I could listen to him speak all night, but the waiter is waiting. So, uh, are you ordering soon? Right, food. What do you recommend, Bo? Anything that tastes good. Like meat. Do you eat vegetables? If it tastes good. Okay, steak for the meathead? I'll get the ratatouille. Oh, but that's all vegetables. Shut up, meathead. An order of red wine with that too. At least you know how to pair wine with steak. How cooked would you like that steak, sir? Well done. Make it medium rare. Okay, chef. The waiter quickly bolts away. Mm. It's just me and him now. Uh, so, how long have you been stealing? A couple of times. It's only food. Stealing? Yeah, yeah, it... It was me stealing food from the fridge. Do you need help? Should we split tonight's bill? No, I have enough money. Just no work-life balance. So it's all work, no life. I did have a life until I got hired to buy this company. It wasn't like this at my other job. Used to work at a eatery, always ate fresh. So I worked at Subway. No, <laughs> then why did you stay with us? You seem capable of going by your employee of the month record. I was at my limit, to be frank with you. But one day, I met you. Met me? Your lunch. Fudge. I've never felt such warmth from a box lunch, or lunch box, before. Even though it was straight from the fridge. 
All I ate were ham cheese sandwiches and cream cheese bagels. Depressing, I know. Ham cheese and cream cheese bagels are good. Why didn't you order your own? Why, yep. Yeah. Stop being a leech. But you told me I could leech off of you now. For a price. Hmm. My wallet is your wallet. He says it so casually. Next thing I know, he leans over to my side of the table. By the way, you're really good with your hands. What? It looks like he's about to grab my hand, but he avoids me. He picks up a napkin holder from my side and brings it back with him. How often do you pound meat? Huh. The fried pork sandwich from yesterday was delectable. Are you messing with me? No, I'm serious. Can I go to your place after this? For what reason? To inspect your goods. Are you going too fast? I want to see what's in your fridge. My fridge? <laughs> Aren't I playing for your groceries? Right, of course. I take out my phone uh, to distract myself from the shame. Scrolling through my chat apps, I realize something crucial. I forgot, Bo, what's your contact info? Oh, it's... I also haven't gotten your full name. Uh, what's Bo short for? My full name. He hesitates, dragging on the silence. Hmm. I gaze back with big watery eyes, a skill I learned from dealing with higher ups. <laughs> he finally gives in and sighs. Don't laugh, okay? Oh, my parents had a French freeze. Bo, 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 bo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually European. I won't laugh. I'll need it if we're going to work together from now on. There's a knock on our door. What door? The waiter rolls in a trolley holding our meals. Uh. As the waiter sets down the meal, Bo finally speaks. Well, it's... Bone apple tea. Apple, apple tea. Bone apple tea. Bone apple tea. Hmm. Bo apple tea. The end. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Well, I think we got all the endings. Thank you for playing. Yeah, we did it. All right, let's get out of here. I'm hungry. What's an extra? Oh, this is the gallery. Oh, uh, all the endings. And concepts. Here's the oh. concepts. That's nice. Here's the credits. <laughs> Go over the dog at Kings Park. Yeah. And here's the dev notes. I worked yeah. on this game about eating, but I ironically had no time to eat. I could only do so much. My dog is a demon. 10 out of 10, would eat again, I did nothing. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's go. Bye.